from Dubai Internet City. This is the Business Breakfast. Leaders from a range of industry sectors with their predictions for 2023. Right now we're talking technology with the CEO of one of the biggest tech firms in the region. Haider Ali Khan is CEO of Bayut and Dubizel. He's with us in the studio. Haider, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Thank you. We'll get on to your top predictions for 2023. But first of all, let's just take a moment to reflect on 2022. Certainly, the, the real estate or prop tech side of your business, Bayut, and to an extent, Dubizel, must have had a good year in 2022. Yeah, I think it was a great year for the industry overall. Um, you know, if you look at the real estate sector, uh, it, it flourished last year. Um, a lot of things worked out in favor of uh, just the U UAE real estate sector um, and Dubai in particular. Um, so a lot of people moving in, um, a lot of activity, a lot of interest. Uh, so it was, a, it was a really good year. Yeah. But let's look forward to, to prop tech in 2023. What are going to be the big trends driving that sector? Sure. Um, so look, I mean, I think if you think about property, uh, and if I talk more about residential property, um, you know, um, uh, that's where a lot of the interest is. Um, there are two segments. One is uh, I would classify as, as off plan, uh, which uh, you know is new development, which people are buying, and it's going to be delivered at a future date. And then second is um, the existing market, uh, the, the second-hand home market uh, or used homes. Um, and I think there is going to be, um, I, well, on the on the off-plan side, uh, what I would personally like to see is uh, getting a bit more involved. Uh, like even if you look at the process right now, uh, you don't get a lot of information about what's going to be built, how it's going to look, uh, what, it, what is exactly going to be there. Um, and frankly, I mean, it's mostly handled through brochures uh, and et cetera right now. And I think in this digital age, uh, we ought to be looking at a lot of AR, VR, uh, and, and having those kind of more embedded experiences in terms of trying to understand what is this place going to look like once I have it. Uh, so hopefully we can make some progress towards that. And I think on the on the existing market, uh, you know, where existing homes, um, you know, we've been focused quite a lot on just making sure that we can get the right listings out uh, in front of people. So making sure that they're authentic, that they're available. Um, that's been um, it's been a crunch on the supply side uh, last year, and that's why you've seen prices go up. Um, so it's it's hard for everybody to get the listings, but we want to make sure that what is actually available on the portals, um, you know, what people are seeing are, are genuine listings. Uh, and we're working pretty closely with uh, with the land department on that. Uh, we're integrating with their back end to make sure that we can verify all of those. But on top of that, we also want to make sure that those are not only those properties exist, but they're actually available. And that's been a big challenge. Uh, yeah, you say solving the authentication problem continues to be a focus. Um, I mean, you've obviously, Bayut is one of the leading property portals here. Um, Dubizel also has property listings as well, and there are other portals as well. How do you manage that? Uh, so there is there's actually a lot involved. Um, you know, everything from when somebody submits a property to making sure uh, that the documentation is, is accurate. Uh, so we actually now... Um, are as I said, we're uh, you know we're integrating with uh, uh, integrated with the land department where we actually take the documentation that's submitted by the agent representing uh, the landlord, um, and then pass it back to a system to make sure with the land department this property is actually authentic, all the details are correct, um, and and then we give it uh, what we call a checked badge. Um, but not only that, we also want to make sure that the property is available. Um, you know, and and it's possible uh, that the properties exist sometimes when they are not truly available, and so. We introduced a solution back in the day, which we called Shoe Check, where the agents are supposed to physically go to the property and take a picture of the property, which is geotagged. And that comes back into our ops team, and we compare it with what was submitted earlier to make sure that the property is actually available. Um, and we, we give it a true check badge, which means, and it actually tells you when the agent actually visited the property. So it tells you that the property is, is, is there, and you can know that the agent visited the property yesterday, for example, um, and, and it's still available. Uh, it's not just about authentic properties, it's also about making sure that those properties are actually available. Sometimes people advertise properties which are authentic, but they might not be available, if you understand what I mean. No, I, I do, and you've got the issue that for, for a property, I mean, a you know, two-bedroom apartment opposite where we are in Media City could have multiple agents and be listed on multiple portals. Um, and that, that's a lot of work. If, that, if it's a rental for 100,000 dirhams, there's only so much effort you can put into verifying that, isn't there? There's not that much margin in there. Yeah, but I think I think the way I think about it is it's not a short-term investment. I think I look at it as a kind of a long-term investment. You know, we've been doing this for years. 
Um, as our systems get better and they get better plugged in with the land department, they've been making efforts on their side. Um, frankly, you know, and in the future, uh, we wouldn't need to do this, hopefully. Uh, and then that's, that's the hope. Uh, in the meantime, we continue to invest. Um, and then we do it just so that we can provide a be better user experience to all the, all the consumers out there. Um, and I think it's, it's, it's critical. It's, 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 it's very, very important. Um, and that's how you kind of become a more mature uh, market. Um, and then we just need to do the legwork right now um, till, till the industry kind of behaves in that fashion. And, and, and I, presumably this is the way that you, investments like this, maintain an edge as a portal because the, the, the portal business for real estate is, is competitive. Is it investments like this that will separate the wheat from the chaff ultimately? Absolutely, right, absolutely. And, and I think a lot of people, maybe, uh, uh, I shouldn't say everyone, but, but I think a lot of people think that there's, you know, there's not much to a portal that it's just, okay, just take up a listing and there's a lot of pruning of data that you need to do in the back. There's a lot of cleanup that you need to do. You need to identify properties that don't look, uh, you know, we run a lot of machine learning models to understand what actually is a flag, red flag take it out ourselves, um, you know, people complain about properties, we have to remove those. There's a lot of stuff that happens, and I, uh, we have to make this investment um, um, to stay ahead of the game. Yeah. At 30 seconds, data, you say accessibility of data is going to be a game changer. We've already made great strides, certainly in Dubai, in terms of availability of real estate data from the authorities. What's next in 2023? Just 30 seconds on that. Um, look, I mean, I think it's just more about uh, bringing out the data in, in, in fashion that's digestible, um, which to, to, the, to the consumer out there, um, you know, um, everything we, we, right now we provide history of the property in terms of how it's transacted over the years, but then also showing them what's happening in the market right now, um, exactly what's going on, how are these properties transacting, because, you know, if there's a difference between listing price and let's say transaction price, uh, we want to bridge that gap. Uh, Going to be a busy year. Going to let you get back to your office. Hi, Ali Khan is the CEO of Bayut. And to Bizzle, appreciate your time this morning. Thanks for joining us. Wonderful. Thank you and a happy new year to everyone.